Ruth here, and this is the Crafter's Companion Hall number 22. And I is technically two separate orders, as you can see, two separate packages. But I decided to combine these two in one order, so, you know, it wouldn't be just two items in that one video. Because technically a haul is more than two or whatever items, right? Seems a bit pointless to a haul video just for one thing, or two things, so. I combine these two for, um, I guess, a slightly longer video than like two minutes. Um, and spoiler, I did actually already buy for haul number 23, and that came out surprisingly ahead of time, which I bought. Luckily, I had enough to get it. But <laughs> with the uh, spoiler, the Just to Say collection, which I've been waiting for since the March announcement of it. So, so glad I waited because it also is cheaper with all the discounts. Anyway, first up, we'll look for this one. <clears throat> I, uh, this one, you know, as you can see, I did audio open this, so I kind of pretty cut up the, uh, the packing thing because it had my address on it. And I put this in my scrapbook. Anyway, as you can see, starters, these two. This is the numbers, <clears throat> and these are the uh, number suffixes. You know the uh, S T R D T H. Wait, what is that? N D. Yeah. I stuck reading backwards. Oh, I could have just turned it around like that. So it's very cool. It's um, it's got those dies, but it has like the shadow die as well. I believe that is right. Yeah. Yes. Because the inside isn't just a. Because they're both cut. I don't know. Anyway, we'll see what it looks like when I do it. Anyway, so that is the. Product code for that if you're looking for it. It was on sale, I believe. It's a two by three inches thing. And this, the number is up close. At first, I thought it was, you know, but then I realized in this font, you just turn the six around and it will be a nine in this font. So at first, I thought, why do you think it's a number? Then I realized, in some fonts anyway, six and nine look the same thing. So um, these ones were, the suffixes were $1.99, these were $2.99, and then, I couldn't resist, you know? This is the uh, sentiment reveal wheel, so it comes with the wheel, the um, yes, yeah, so I waited for someone to get the phone, so technically I got a phone in my room. Um, the phone in the kitchen, the, the phone in mom's study, and mom's room. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh, yes, I, I uh, was thinking I could probably do this by hand, but I didn't really want to have to measure everything and everything, you know? Pure laziness, obviously. But. I can even, I don't even know if I have this shape circle die or not. I'll have to actually look. But since I do have other shapes, I don't need, I didn't felt that I didn't really need to get the additional things. I mean, they were like £1.49 each, but I, I was, at the time I got this, it was a bit of a limited budget. So I only got this one. Anyway, that's the product code. But, um, because they have other, other ones, as you can see. Is this bright enough? Is that better? I can't tell sometimes. I mean, it's not really, it's, so I can't really tell. Cause like the other ones is like a speech bubble, a candy or a sweet wrapper kind of thing. Star, cloud. I'm pretty sure there is a heart or something. Um, well, there's some other options. I think there were like two other ones, 
Not sure. Can't remember. But here. And like, I do have other sentiment stamps, so I can probably line up on this one and use, you know, doesn't necessarily have to, you know, be this one. And, you know, the other ones, you know, they do are like, you know, they are, they do line up very nicely, but we'll see. Well, that was uh, pretty cool. And this one was only for five ninety nine. So that's this one finished. Now next, there's only two items in here. That's on the other side. Okay, under the first two small ones because. I mean, the first small one, not two small ones, but one. There's only one other thing in here. And this one, I couldn't resist. Uh, and it wasn't, unfortunately, on sale. So I tend to like buying things my own, things I buy on sale. But it wasn't on sale. But I couldn't resist, because I do have the very cute, uh, the boy angel one. And I wanted the girl angel one, but they didn't have this one on sale. And it took a while to actually find this, actually listed, you know? Because they didn't list this on its own for some time. It wasn't a, uh, a uh, lucky bag. No, not lucky bag. Mystery bag. But uh, it wasn't on its own for a while, so I'm glad that it is. Um, it's called Angel Messenger. This is Connie Fong or a design. Uh, well, definitely it's called Connie Fong Angel Inspiration Stamp and Die Angel Messenger. So that's the full title of this book. So here's the product code, and this is what you get. Stamp with a very little cute angel girl with a dove. I think it's a dove. There's a couple other doves around. There's, you. There's two doves on that one stamp. There's another one and another one. So this one looks like it's like holding a, a petal maybe? And this one is holding the letter, those two, or, you know, flowers. And then, I'm in the shot here. You are a blessing and you are heaven sent. That's cute. And it also comes with corresponding or correlating dyes. So this is for the girl. These are for the doves, I believe, for a thousand right? These two are for the flowers, but there is no die for the words. Unlike, I think the previous one, the, the boy angel, had dies for the words. Anyway, this one was $12.99. Now, for the last thing, which it was $16.49. I don't really or have made any spines or journal books I think before. I mean I made one. It was like an accordion spine little journal thing. But I've never actually made one other than that ages ago. And this <clears throat> it's huge. Let me tell you that. Absolutely huge. It's ten inch album spine. And it's. I don't know if they'll go through my spell binders. Yes. I got it for. Because it was on a sale. Really. I can't remember what the uh, um, price was. But it was a lot. Was it 50 something? I don't know. But, yes. It's huge. And, all I perceive that actually fits in my Spellbinders machine. Because I'm not sure, to be honest. Mm. 
create your own mini books, albums, and journals using the precious moments, dyes, stamps, and paper collections. All of the elements in the collection work together effortlessly to create an endless array of personalized keepsakes. That was a long sentence. <clears throat> anyway, start with the album spine, choose your page style, and decorate as desired. Using the additional elements from the collection, the possibilities are endless. And the rest in other languages. Just the same thing. So yes, if I didn't show you that is the power code, search for it yourself. But that is that, and from what I searched up, they have the little X's on the parts that you're supposed to glue together, which is very handy. But yes, this is very long. So hopefully, though, it will fit in my spellbinders thing. If not, this will be interesting. There we go. Yeah, that fits nicely in frame, doesn't it? But yes, that's it. Um, I'm excited to see what card I can make with that. If I remember to record, or for you, if not, I might show you the end result. I have no idea. I haven't decided yet. But yes, I decided to get these ones, by the way, because I have like the mini mini numbers, but they're really small. So unless I do a small card, they won't stand out on a normal size one. But these are thick. I know they have new, a new number set that came out recently. That's like 34 pounds, so it hasn't been on sale yet. I might get it when it gets on sale, don't know, but so far, these ones, because those ones were full card size, big what, big numbers. These ones, I think, are perfect size for a normal size card, you know? Um, but yes, that's it. I'm just rambling on and on. So thank you for watching. All around. Right.